Poppies, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Friday and I've had a mad week. You guys already kind of know what's been going on this week. Um, so I'm heading out. I am late, but you're supposed to be late to this stuff because like no one's gonna be there early. So <laughs> I need to put some petrol in the car and I also need to buy my cousin a bottle of wine. Not for me, because I'm not drinking, but for my cousin, because it's kind of rude if you turn up empty-handed, right? Um, so I'm gonna do that now. And I was just talking to my mum because I was like, the petrol station I'm going to is a Marks and Spencer one. And I was like, they do really good wine. But do you think they sell wine at petrol stations? Can someone let me know? I mean, I guess I'm going to find out. But I never really thought petrol stations would sell alcohol. But I'm about to find out now. Because if it's not there, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't know if there are any shops on the way. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. I wish I could just like put you guys here somewhere and you actually stay still. I'm literally about to get out of the car I've just parked and I don't even know if I'm allowed to park here and I'm on a hill so I keep saying to myself just remember when you leave here to put it in reverse and get your biting point before you start moving but have a bit more perfume this was a gift from Dubai it's sugar oud and it's so yummy so yummy this camera can fit in stuff and it's so light I'm gonna do a camera review guys on the old one and this one probably tomorrow because someone actually asked me um, what my thoughts are on my old camera so I will give you guys that review but for now let me go and have some fun oh my gosh you guys I am actually kind of fuming I don't know if you remember last night I was telling you about my J necklace from Boohoo Moon that I had lost look what I just found and I'm wearing one right now, so I have two now. Like, can you imagine? It's kind of a good sign though, because when I ordered the original one, I said to myself, I wish I ordered two, just in case it's discolours, because it's not real gold. It's something that I wouldn't have for a long time, but now I've got two, unnecessarily. And it was in my travel bag. This bag tends to travel with me everywhere if I'm going to weddings or if I'm going to be out for the whole day and I might need to change. I always pack extra clothes. Hey, you guys, I'm literally ready. I'm going to go and meet my mum. Did I tell you that? I'm going to try and spend the day with my mum. I haven't seen my mum in so, so long. I haven't actually seen my mum in a little while. I feel like it's probably been like a month since I've seen my mummy because I've been busy, she's been busy, and weekends have been packed um, with different, different stuff. But today I'm gonna see my mum we should be hopefully seeing some cars have some nice lunch maybe a bit of Christmas shopping I'm not too sure yet I have the biggest biggest dilemma right now and I don't know what to opt for I am deciding between what bag to wear today um, and you know what both of them go in my outfit they are both from Teddy Blake you guys have seen me talk about this one in particular so many times and I've actually posted this a few times on my Instagram recently this is the newer one this one's about two years old and this this one's a couple months old um this one's like leather real leather by the way and this one is suede and it's gorgeous and i love that they're very similar similar size and style and everything but very different so this is the gray one which obviously goes really nicely with everything but i don't want to look too monochromatic so i'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> to go for this beauty because look look how that adds a nice little zhuzh to the outfit um i think i want to go with this one and i love teddy blake bags they are so luxurious they are you know similar styles to hermes and fendi and all of those kind of style bags but for a fraction of the price <laughs> i have a feeling my mom's gonna want to try and steal this bag from me today but she's not having it and you guys know that i love a good strap <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm going to opt for this one today. Okay guys, I'm ready. I feel like this is going to be our spot for Vlogmas where I tell you guys that I'm ready and I'm about to leave the house. And then what I'm going to do is turn the camera around. Okay, this is what I'm wearing today. Uh, my coat is from Rebellious Fashion. I love it. Um, I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit out there kind of, but it's really not. This is my favourite colour. And we need the furs because it's cold. And it's like that shaggy fur. It's not like a luxurious fur. It's quite a shaggy casual fur which i'm feeling so that my outfit doesn't look too dressed up my top's from mango i'm wearing my boohoo moon j necklace again because i feel like i'm going to be wearing it every day now that i've got two of them and then i've got these leather pants on and then i'm wearing my favorite footwear of the year which are these alexander mcqueen trainers so yeah guys this is what i'm wearing today the only other dilemma i have now that the bag's sorted is whether to have my t-shirt out 
all in. I'm feeling the in, but you know once you do the in, you can't take it out because it's going to be creased. So I'm going to leave it until I see my mum and she will give me the best, the best choice. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and then I've got um, another Becoming book because I'm going to give that to my mummy today. I don't even know if she's ordered it already because knowing her, she's probably taken to Amazon and got it. It's 12.38, so good timing for me. Um, I'm not late. I'm actually on time today. So I want to get to my mum's. I'll probably get to my mum's just after one, um, which is good timing. So we can pop out, we can have lunch, and we can have the day before it starts getting dark. Because guys, it's just not nice when it's dark. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of here, see you in a minute. <laughs> Plan aborted the Costa is in a retail park and the retail park which I should have known is so packed there is no parking it's not worth it I'm leaving late it's one o'clock now so I'm just gonna go to my mum's now because she just called as you saw and she was fuming because she's hungry <laughs> so we're gonna go now and that's the end of our car vlog because once i get on the big roads you guys are going to probably fall and i cannot risk my camera's life because that's all i seem to do right now you guys are tied around the door handle you know like the door handle that's what you're on right now so i'm gonna see you on the other end and um yeah i'm gonna enjoy the music on the radio because this car doesn't have an aux lead and all that stuff but Praying that I will find the right car, the car of my dreams that is going to allow me to vlog, have my phone, have music, and sat nav inbuilt. That's the plan. I made it. I made it safe. Thank you guys. That's my dad in the back. Where is he? Richie. He's on one today. I'm with my mommy. She looks so cute. We are going out now. I'm hungry. Did you eat, mum? No. Good. Because I thought you we were going to eat and I was starving and there was a bit of traffic. But um, I made it and my hair's flat though, but it's fine. I'm gonna let Richie outside quickly because all the excitement of seeing me, he's probably gonna be dying to go to the toilet. Um, do you like your book, mommy? Yeah. Your exactly, present. Thank you. I'm she glad loves her book. It. And she didn't order it, guys. Remember, I was just saying that I was scared she was gonna order it already because she was mentioning it. Was it last week? I think yeah. you were mentioning it. So, um, yeah, I did well. well. You've got a present for me? Yeah. How do you know I haven't got it? Because I know you haven't. Are you sure? No, let me put my thing upstairs. Is it a book? No. Okay. Because there's a book you mentioned to me. There's a book you mentioned to me the other day, but it's actually getting sent to me through PR. So No, no, no. Okay. Hey, baby. I missed you. I haven't seen you in months. I know. Is that makeup? What is that, honey? Oh, I got an Alexa. Richie, you're ruining it. Okay, it's for you. Okay, here you go. Take it. It's for you then. Because I'm not allowed to have presents. I got a present! Oh, this is my first Christmas present of the year. It's a Christmas present, Mum. Just, just because. Yeah. I do need it and I'm so excited about it. You have to go home and I know. You have to phone I know, but I'm excited. So you connect it with your phone with Bluetooth? Yeah. That's what and then everything just, it. it tells you, like this, call Mum. <laughs> Like What's the weather like? Okay, mum's gonna she's gonna demonstrate on her own one now. Alexa, play 103.6 FM. Complete 1036. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. Right, so where are we heading to first, mum? Should we go Car to Car Giant first? Yeah. Car Giant first, and then Brent Cross. Yeah. What do you fancy anyway? No. I don't know. I just know I'm hungry. So, yes. You think you're nice, don't you? <laughs> I think I look all right today. Do you, do you That's like cute, where you get the jacket from? Oh, um, guys, there is a drive through Costa, kind of near Wembley. I'm so jealous. My mum's enjoying this. She's enjoying this lifestyle. Yay. Cheers. We're gonna find my dream car. It's time. These are all really nice, but I mean, they're very expensive for a car. I don't plan to have for too long. This one is really nice though. It is very nice. My mum and my auntie are really persuading me to get, is this the country or clubman? I don't know the it's difference. <laughs> I am home. 
home what a day what a long day first of all i've had so much like fur and stuff on my face from my pink jacket but it's been a really nice day and now i'm relaxing with oh you guys almost saw the bar from there i'm relaxing with some wine and i've got the lights on on the tree please excuse the mess that looks so cute and what i'm going to do now is an attempt to it is actually quite late but it's weird when it's late i tend to get quite like productive and i get really like a lot of ideas that come in in my mind so before i go to bed i'm going to try and do like utilize this energy of mine so what i'm going to do tonight i'm going to go find a notebook actually no i might do it in my laptop on a spreadsheet and i would just want to start putting together my 2019 budget kind of list just because a lot has changed in the past couple of months so i want to keep track of that so that when i'm entering the new year I know exactly what I'm spending, I know exactly what I'm expecting to come in and it will also help me sort of set some goals for extra income. So if it's like, let's say something's bringing me £1,000 a month, that then gives me um, the ability to create a goal that is like, okay, I want to add 50% on top of that, so I want to make one five each month. So what am I going to do to get that extra 500 each month from that thing? With all the goals and things that I have for the new year, now is really the time to knuckle down, get my head down and really, really keep a close eye on everything. I think a lot is going to happen this coming year. I really do believe that. I feel like 2018 has been my year of preparation. I, I said that last year, but this year has definitely, like a lot of great things have happened. I've done a lot of great things and I'm so grateful. But I feel like this has been another foundation on top of last year's foundation. And I don't think that 2018 was my year to like shoot up. Does that make sense? It's like, right, you're almost ready, but you've still got a few things, a few building blocks to do. 2019 is the year that I'm literally gonna be like, right, I've learned all my lessons, I'm fully prepared, I've got all my arm, I'm ready to go, and I'm gonna go. As these weeks draw closer to the end of the year, I'm just slowly and surely getting more excited about the year. Don't look at it as the things that you didn't get to do that you wanted to do in this year. But now think about, okay, what are you gonna do differently to make sure you do it in 2019? I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like if any of you are in similar situations, what I'm saying right now, you'll understand. I'm just kind of talking, but um, basically, yeah, that's the reason why uh, tonight at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I just feel like writing this down and getting it done because Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Go to church, come back home, do some cleaning, do some cooking, do some filming, do some editing. And yeah, that's gonna be my Sunday tomorrow. Um, hopefully nothing deviates me, but that is the plan. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much for all of your love and support on my first Vlogmas video. No one has said anything horrible about the tree thus far.